1091 is my sensor ground. 1091 is a sensor ground. 1092 is the ECM ground. A TCM ground, I should say. Seventy eight and seventy nine the data bus communication lines here. Now you can see that came from the last ECM. Remember they all communicate on the same line. Pen seventy six no pen seventy two, four, five, and six. Here are the controls for my solenoids here. TCC solenoid, transmission shift, one, two solenoids, and pressure control solenoids. And you can see the power that's coming from here on fuse 72. And mobilizer module, which is this here. Pen 9399 is my power from this fuse here. Here and here is power. Pen 96 and 97. Is my transponder key terminals right when the key is closed the signal is sent to the transponder and a mobilizer ECM looks for a key that it recognizes before it can let the car start up P9 uh, ground terminal number 98 is the ground for M, uh, M mobilizer module Ninety four and ninety five on the data bus line and one hundred and one hundred and one again on the data bus line. And one oh two at the bottom is the ground. Over to the right. I have my 16 pin connector. Now you can notice one thing here that number six, oh, oops, uh, it's kind of harsh. Number six and number 14, right? That's coming to my data, that's in my CAN system. Now, this composite vehicle, we know it's CAN because of those two terminals going six and 14. Well, a lot of cars on the field, you can't tell that way. Uh, for this particular D16 connector, that's my CAN communication lines. And we have my power to number 16. Remember, 16 is the audio power. 4 is the ground. And number five, I'm pretty sure that's a sensor ground. They had to go to that little wire diagram for that one. I'm pretty sure that's a sensor ground there. But anyway, that was the composite Yoko. I know it was long. I hope it wasn't too boring. Hope you're still up. I uh, hope this helps. Peace. I'm out.
What's up, fellas and ladies? This is Nate Davis again. If you watch that video, that long video, you deserve a test tip. So I'm gonna give you two quick questions. Let's see if you can answer them. You're gonna need your composite video three to look at the uh, information. First one: Immobilizer like flashing, and the vehicle stalls. Now go find your immobilizer chart. Take a look at the pins and see if you got the best answer. You might have to pause this video to go find it. Then again, here's the answer. A short on pin 96 because the immobilizer like the, the flash and the vehicle stalled out on you. Next one. Transmission doesn't shift into third gear. Again, go find this in the Composite Vehicle 3 worksheet you have in the classroom. Let's see your best answer for this. There's also zero volts on Terminal 75. Go find Terminal 75 and there's zero volts on that terminal. What's your best answer? A SS2 non-functional solenoid. The solenoid probably has an open in it. Thanks for watching. Remember, this is between me and you. Let's see if the rest of the class watch this whole video. Peace. This is Nate. I'm out. Good luck on your tests. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, ASCTestTest.com.